Yo, what is going on guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. In the last year on this YouTube channel, we have unboxed plenty of sneakers. But the one thing that we have yet to do on this YouTube channel is clean a pair of sneakers. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking that this is extremely random, and it is. But in the last couple weeks, I received a package in my fan mail, and it is Jason Mark premium shoe cleaner. Now, I know some of you guys are probably sitting at home thinking, Nate Shot, you have lost your mind and ran out of YouTube ideas, but hold on, that is not the case. I want you guys to take a look at this pair of sneakers. These are the triple white Adidas Ultra Boost, and you can tell on the outside and on the inside that I have really let these shoes go. They are extremely dirty, and they're supposed to be exactly what they're called, the triple whites. And I remembered that in the last fan mail opening that I did that somebody sent me this brand of Jason Mark Shoe Care Cleaner. Now, I know there are a ton of different brands on the market when it comes to shoe cleaner, and this is not sponsored in any way. I'm really just on a quest, I'm on a hunt to find the best shoe care cleaner, and I'm gonna try out the Jason Mark today. I'm gonna show you guys the Adidas Ultra Boost before and after, and we're gonna see how clean we can get these because I know a lot of you guys have really joined in on me or have started with sneaker culture even before me. Whether you came before, during, or after, or you're buying up shoes, you guys are always tweeting me pictures of the new Adidas that you guys have copped. So I figured this would be really, really awesome just to see and experiment how clean that we can get these dirty, dirty sneakers. I'm gonna go fill this with warm water. I'm gonna go get a towel to put on the table. I'm gonna show you guys how dirty both sneakers are before we start cleaning and then we're gonna start this experiment and cue the shoe cinematic all right guys I was able to add some hot water to our container here and we're gonna open up the Jason Mark premium shoe cleaner and peel right there take out the shoe cleaner take out this Brush, oh, I hate that wood texture. Feels like chalk on a chalkboard to me. All right, I wanna grab another towel so that we can scrub them. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna take off the laces first. I think that's probably the best idea because the laces are actually surprisingly really clean, which I, I, I don't know how it's possible because everything else is really, really, really dirty. So let me get these off and then we will start cleaning. Laces are off. So, there we go. So we're gonna dip our brush into the water. Dip, 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 dip. Then we're gonna put a liberal amount, liberal it says, a liberal amount of the shoe clean. I don't know how much a liberal amount is. Let's start cleaning. Oh, there we go. There we go, all right. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going back into the, the container over and over and over to get more soap on the brush because it seems like you need to continue to do that to make sure you're just reapplying the soap every time. I definitely got that foaming action going here. And if you guys remember, this part of the shoe when I showed you guys was the dirtiest and we got it foaming like crazy right now. I'm also really, really curious if it'll clean this part of the shoe as well because you guys can see I have a little dirt there and stuff. So let's find out for ourselves. Oh, this is a really, oh wait, is that like ch chocolate on my shoe? Jesus, what is this? How do I get that on my shoe? Dude, I'm kind of hyped right now. You know, I, I just got real excited. Cause this is actually working, dude. I might have to clean all my damn shoes right after this. My arm's a little tired, that's okay. <laughs> my arm's tired, I cannot believe I just said that on camera. It is though, man. You would think the years of training that I've had with this motion right here would set me up for greatness. Okay, so the first shoe is really soapy. It's sitting right here in front of me. We're gonna move on to the second shoe and see how clean we can get this one. And then we're gonna rinse both of them, wipe them down, and then we're gonna look at the difference. This is really, uh, 
a, a noticeable difference already. The triple whites, bringing them back from the dead. I'm gonna put the soap and my container of water to the side, and I'm gonna show you guys these sneakers and the difference that we have from the start until finish. Now, they haven't completely finished drying, but I tried to get as much dirt as I could off of the shoes, and now these are our Ultra Boost. Now, looking at them myself, I could definitely tell the difference in the amount of dirt that it was able to take off the shoes. Like on the interior right here, you guys saw, it was almost pitch black. If I'm being honest, I can still see like a discoloration right here. I don't think I cleaned that as well as I could have, but this is my first time ever cleaning shoes with this brush and this type of soap. But overall, I think they look, they look pretty great. It's a really, really big difference. I can, I can just tell by looking at them that there is a significant difference from start until finish. Here is the other one. Again, let me show you guys the interior, which was the dirtiest part of this shoe. And the soap and the brushing was able to get most of it out. So the, the triple whites look a heck of a lot better. I think I'll definitely continue to use Jason Mark and maybe try washing a couple other pairs of shoes that I own. Now what's also really, really neat about Jason Mark is the fact that they actually have a store, like they have a flagship store downtown LA where you can bring in your shoes and they'll clean them for you. So in the next couple days, I think I'm gonna bring a couple pairs of shoes downtown LA, have them clean them, and then we'll see the difference for ourselves. But yeah, guys, this was the Jason Mark Triple White Adidas Ultra Boost experiment. Really happy with the results. All right, guys, so I looked at the footage from yesterday after we got done cleaning the triple whites, and I'm not convinced that the before and after that I showed you guys is good enough for me or you as proof that this cleaning process works. So I had an idea, and I was so excited to turn the camera on for this because I forgot what was in this bag. Now, this is going to be a true test on if this shoe product works or really any shoe products work. I have not opened this bag in a month. And I'm sure you guys by now are wondering what's inside. Obviously, it's going to be a pair of shoes, but there's a lot of context that comes with this bag. Let me just open it up and they can speak for themselves. I can't believe that I had to do this to my babies, but you guys gotta see. Ugh. Uh, guys, this is the second pair of Ultra Boots that I ever purchased, and I wore these on my trip to Hawaii. I went hiking through the mountains. I walked through puddles and puddles of dirt and soot and just the earth in general. I crossed a river in these shoes. This is as dirty as a pair that you're ever gonna find. And I have not opened that bag. I actually forgot that they were in my closet since the trip to Hawaii in the first week of March. So it's been an entire month that this dirt has been sitting inside of all of the material on these shoes. I mean, there's a damn hair like stuck to this. It, they're filthy. So we're gonna find out right now if I apply this cleaning process, if we can get month old, muddy, dirty, stagnant shoes clean. This is gonna be a cool little experiment. This is one shoe and then this is the other. Let's get clean. Okay guys, so earlier we had a little bit of a problem while I was cleaning the shoes. The camera angle that you guys are seeing right now, this SD card was actually full, so I wasn't able to show you guys the full time lapse. But I wanna show you guys a before right here. These are what the shoes look like before we started cleaning. You guys can see each side and what they look like. And now I wanna show you guys the after. This is how the shoes turned out. This is the outside, and then this is the inside. So as you guys can tell, there still is a little bit of brownness to the material, and um, I was scrubbing really, really hard. I reapplied soap so many different times, and it just doesn't want to budge. I think it's just been soaked in there for so long. I mean, I had these, these shoes sitting in my closet, just mixed in with the dirt for about a month, but honestly, like the tone of itself, you can't really tell if I was walking down the street that that 
isn't a part of like the original color of the shoe. Uh, but I'm really, really happy with the results. I, I think that the cleaner worked as the way it was intended to and I'll definitely use it again. Now, there are a lot of other products, like I said at the beginning, on the market. I know there's like Crep Protect and a, a few other ones that a lot of these sneaker heads use. But overall, I'm really, really happy with this experience and I'm glad that I was able to share it with you guys so you can see what results you can realistically expect if you were to buy a premium shoe cleaner. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. The original Ultra Boosts have been clean and so have been the Triple Whites. Really excited to share this video with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed and you found it informative. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and YouTube. We'll see you fudging later. Goodbye.